Hey y'all, it's Kathy Jo. Let's get on with the video. Okay y'all, right here I have two square, I don't know, I don't think they're dial rods. But anyway, maybe they are, um, they're 12 inches long and I got them off Amazon and I'm cutting two of them in half to give me four. And I'm taking that glue from the Dollar Tree, the wood glue, and some Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm going to glue them all together, just like you see right there. How you all doing today? Good, I hope. So I got four more, <clears throat> excuse me, and I'm just going to glue them in the corner and angle them in towards each other. Yep. Are y'all excited about the hop? I am. And then glue, um, glue them together two at a time and glue them all four together. And then I'm going to measure those out and I'm going to cut four of them and I'm going to go completely around my little triangle there. Make sure you send down your little pieces. And I got some skewers. And I'm going to cut them. I think y'all see what I'm making here. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to put four on them, two in the front, two in the back. And I got one of those little, um, oh, it's not a fan, shoot, windmills, yeah. And I'm going to take a craft stick and glue it to the top of my little dial rod, not dial rods there. Anyway, <clears throat> my little, oh, I know what they're called, y'all. Anyway, and I got a part of a dial rod that I got from a thrift store that I just drilled a hole in that's the size of my skewer because I want my um, windmill to spin. So, I cut off a piece and I glued it in that piece of that dial rod and I'm going to glue my dial rod with that wood glue and hot glue to the top of my windmill and then just slide it on there. And then spin it and play with it a little bit. Make sure it works. So I'm going to cut that piece of that skewer down. And I'm going to stick my windmill, no, the dial rod through the windmill hole. I'm sorry, y'all. I haven't slept at all. I'm exhausted. And that little piece that went in the front, I took Gorilla Glue and hot glue and put a little wood piece in it. I drilled a hole in that wood piece. And I'm going to stick it to the front there at that wood glue. And it stayed, and it's still staying, and it spins. So, I got me some beads, and I got me some greenery, and some flowers, some prettiness. <clears throat> and I like to take and put, um, because I want stuff to stand up straight. I want it to, you know, not be falling everywhere. So, I put the greenery down, in, down inside the wood beads, and, yeah, glue them to it. So that's what I'm doing right now. And look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, isn't that pretty? I did I like that. Um, look at all them flowers. I think that looks so pretty. Ah, oh, and it spins. And I set that hello from the Dollar Tree on there. And I can take it off. I didn't know which way looked best. What do you all think? Hey y'all, today I'm excited to let y'all know I'm participating in the Friend Friday Hop hosted by Heidi Sample Seasonally. If you go to my description box and click on the link, you will be sent to the next person's video and you just continue to do that. Click on the next person, next person, and next person until you circle all the way around back to me. Okay. Okay, you guys, so right here, I got four little wooden blocks. I got this out of our garage. We got all kinds of pieces of wood, just junk thrown around. And I took them and cut them three inches, so they're three by three. And I painted them first in Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. And then I went over them with that Anita, just acrylic black paint. And I'm going to sand down the corners. And I got a one by six there. And it's five and a half inches long, and that's because I cut the piece off that I needed, and that was left over. So, anyway, X marks the spot. I'm just going to put an X on the top so I can find the center of them. 
and take my drill and drill holes in all of them, top, bottom, both sides, up and down. Okay, now I got my tape measure. I'm going around to make sure I get it even all the way around my little square. And I do that to all of them. And then I'm going to measure two inches down. I'm telling a lie. I do it to two of them. Just that part. And I got those. I call them wooden nails. Um, I guess they can be called anything you want them to be called. <laughs> And I found a little finial, and I painted it um, with that uh, little white rust limb chalk paint. And I'm going to stick it with wood glue to the top of my little thing here. And I painted my little square there while you saw that a minute ago. And I'm just taking black, putting around the edges. And I put some black on top of it. But I didn't like it, and I covered that up later. And I drilled a hole in it. And I'm going to take my little wooden nail and put it in the hole I drilled in the box. And the hole I drilled in the board. So, I got some of those little, you know, screw-in thingies. They come through in a pack at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use eight of them. And I put another wooden nail down. And I'm going to put that wood glue in there. And I'm stacking up my blocks. This is going to be a mug tree. <laughs> Coffee mug. Anyway, that's an easy way to get those in. If it's hurting your hand, you take one spare one, stick it in your drill, and just get your drill going. And ram, 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 and it sit them right in there. So on my Cricut, I cut out mugs, uh, the, the word mugs, and a couple little coffee cups, some little pretties, and I'm just sticking them all over it. This thing is really, really cool. It weighs like 20 pounds and it holds eight coffee mugs. I ain't even playing. A mug tree. That's what I called it. A mug tree. That's wild looking. I, I should have used smaller hooks. You can use smaller hooks and screw them in there. I should do that. Take those out and put the smaller ones in. What y'all think about that crazy thing, huh? Look at that. You never know what people come up with, do you? Hey, y'all. If you're enjoying my video, please consider checking out my channel. I do different um, types of DIYs. I do some boho. I do farmhouse. I do modern um, farmhouse. Um, of course, the holiday stuff, you know always the holiday stuff but um i'd appreciate it um i enjoy doing diys um thrift flips trash to treasure uh i've done done a few hauls here and there but mainly i do laughs so anyway um yeah i'd appreciate if you give me a big thumbs up subscribe like and you all have a blessed day. Thank you. Okay, guys. I got three of those round glass jars from the Dollar Tree. That has the... Mine had black lids. And some of them had brown lids. But I don't know. Who knows? It doesn't matter. You can paint them. And I'm going to paint all of them in that rust -Oleum linen white chalk paint. And you're going to want to take that off the best you can. And make sure your leg goes on. And I end up giving them three coats, and I don't know why. But anyway, and I'm going to take the lids outside and spray them in that two-time Rust-Oleum flat black spray. <laughs> spray paint. Is that right? I haven't slept, guys. Seriously, I'm tired. I can't think straight. And I cut out some words on my Cricut. I cut out coffee, sugar, and tea. These are some gifts, so that's good for me. Yeah. These are for somebody else, and it just happened to work out that this is a farmhouse collaboration. 
And this is farmhouse kitchen stuff, coffee bower. Except the windmill. The windmill's for me, y'all. Aren't those cute? I think they're adorable. And what is even better is they're stackable. So, anyway, you can have them sitting out side by side. Or stack them up like that and save you some counter space. Or coffee bar space. So, I got this. I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like, I don't know, some kind of box of some sort. And I got it for $1.99 at the Goodwill. It was filthy. I mean, I used to really clean this thing up. And anyway, I'm seeing it right there, just the edges and stuff. And and just wanted some of that wood to show through. I don't know what that is. Y'all know what's well, about to be a tray. But anyway... And again, on my cricket, and I weeded it wrong. I was like, oh, man, I always do that. I'll be, like, doing it, and then I'm like, oh, dude, I did it backwards. Anyway, hope y'all enjoying the video. Coffee, I'm going to make it a tray. Yep, did I already say that? This is the easiest DIY I've ever done. And a sweet subscriber sent me um, the brown and the white. Uh... Faux leather ribbon. Yeah, I can't find it. I can't find it at all. So I took me some thumbtacks and hammered it in the side of that thing with that ribbon. And you can actually pack it around. It's holding up pretty good. Yeah, carry it. I say pack, but carry it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's so cute. I think all this stuff would be perfect for a coffee bar. I don't drink coffee. I don't like coffee. I don't like tea. I don't want anybody to dance with me. I don't know. I like to dance. Anyway, I got me three of those little wood rounds from the Dollar Tree. Um, they were called wreath, um, I don't know, decorators or something. Then they were doorknob decorators. And now they're just little wooden rounds. Anyway... So, I'm just saying to them because I had a couple, they were splintery. They were pretty rough. Sometimes they all work. Sometimes they are not. But, you never know what you're going to get. Life is like a box of chocolates. Anyway. Hey, y'all. How you doing? So, I'm going to take that lightweight spackling and I'm going to fill up the little holes. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. I hope y'all enjoy the video. If this is your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. Stick around. Stay a while. Usually I'm more chipper than this, but I'm telling y'all, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. Tired. <laughs> oh, what a hillbilly. Anyway, and I'm going to paint all three of them in the linen white Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And two of those... Pillars, not the kind you sleep on, but <laughs> the candle pillars <laughs> I, that you get from the Dollar Tree. Because I wanted everything to match, so <laughs> I'm going to paint the entire thing. Y'all's probably like, oh no, I should have just moved on. And I got two of those gold baskets from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to spray them in that Rust-Oleum two-time flat matte black whatever paint and i got that fix all glue from the dollar tree and some hot glue and i'm gonna glue a wood round to the top of them i keep calling them wood round i don't know what else to call them and then um one to the bottom of one i want a little bit hot difference just one tall a little bit taller than the other one Y'all, my craft room is a disaster. I've done video, 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 and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Anyway, so I'm putting some of that fix saw on that basket. I'm going to do it to both baskets, but I'm only going to show one basket. And some hot glue. And I got these two little 
thin pieces of wood. Round, they're just nothing, really. And you get six of them in a pack from Walmart for 98 cents. And I'm going to paint them black. And I'm taking some of that um, black and white gingham ribbon you get from the Dollar Tree. And I'm wrapping around the bottom of that one that I put the extra piece of wood on. And then I'm taking more of that fix all and some more hot glue. And I'm going to cover that up. So it covers that glue up so you can put stuff in it. And I took um, buffalo check ribbon and weed the in and out of that one basket. And I'm just going to hot glue it down. It's real simple. You just in and out, in and out, in and out. I didn't want to bore you all to death with it. And I got that baker's twine, black and white baker's twine, and a couple of those tags from the Dollar Tree, the hanging tags, you know, chalkboard tags, whatever they all were. And I wrote fruit on one and veggies on the other. I don't know. I didn't know what to write. Y'all could write K-cups on one and creamers, you know, those little creamer packs on another. <laughs> and I made a messy bow for the one. It's already done. If you could see it, I can't even see it. Well, good gravy, Kathy. What are you doing? And I'm just going to tie it to the front of the baskets. That one, I took some buffalo check material. We're going to pretend like those are avocados, those veggies. <laughs> and the fruit, those lemons. <laughs> Aren't those so cute? I think they're adorable. Yes, I do. Oh, ain't that pretty? That's pretty. Here is everything, y'all. I should have put some coffee mugs on that mug tree. Mugs. Mug. I hope y'all like it. You guys know that I love you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate every one of my subscribers. You are, are absolutely the best. The best subscribers out there. So, see y'all, you need to subscribe so you can be one of the best subscribers out there. Um, y'all have a blessed day. Have a safe weekend. And take care. And I'll see you next week. Bye.